What's up guys, Econ John here. In this video, we're gonna give an introduction to Envelope Theorem, let's go. So what is Envelope Theorem? Envelope Theorem is a mathematical tool used to evaluate changes in a function evaluated at their optimum points. For example, for a given two-dimensional function, f of x, y, we can say that there exists a unique value of x and y where this function is maximized. Given this relationship, we can say that we can mathematically describe all the optimum points of x considering any y. We can rewrite our function f of x, y as f of x star as a function of y and y. We can say that the optimal values of x for our function is parameterized by y. This functional form is referred to as the value function of f of x, y, which is often written as capital F of y, which is equal to f of x star and y. It describes all the maximal values of the function for any given y. Envelope theorem consists of two parts, each relating specifically to constrained and unconstrained optimization, respectively. The first one is that we say that only direct effects matter. And the second one is that we can stay within the framework of the Lagrangian instead of dealing with total derivatives, when, which is often common when we're dealing with parameterized functions. Envelope theorem is important because it helps us analyze closely linked economic variables which are described in this way, where our functions are parameterized by each value, which comes up a lot in economics. So let's talk about envelope theorem in an unconstrained optimization situation. For a given function f of x, y that is continuous, its value function is capital F of y is differentiable such that the total derivative of this value function is equal to the partial derivative of f of x, y. This statement could be hard to understand, but note that total differentiation and partial differentiation are two different things. While total differentiation refers to changes in a function when y enters directly and indirectly, partial differentiation only refers to changes in y which enter the function only directly. This means we can ignore the fact that y enters x and just treat x of y as a constant. Knowing this, we can say the first part of envelope theorem, which states only direct effects matter when evaluating change in parameters at its optimum points. So an example of envelope theorem for unconstrained optimization in economic theory is Shepard's Lemma. For any firm, the general cost function is written as the summation of wi xi, where i goes from 1 to n. We can say that since the firm's choice of inputs xi are determined in part by their prices w, where w is the vector of input prices, we can rewrite it as the summation of wi xi, where i goes from 1 to n, where our inputs xi are parameterized by this input price vector. If we want to know how this function would change with respect to w1, uh, we would get the following. Since we are evaluating uh, x1, which is parameterized by the weight, its wages or input prices, or input prices of all other vectors, it's at its optimum value, it is equal to zero. This being said, we go and get our input demand for this over here. That's Shepard's Lemma. So the second main statement of envelope theorem relates to how we can stay within the general framework of the Lagrangian instead of dealing with total differentiation. The statement is that the partial derivative of our value function with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of our Lagrangian with respect to y. This result is important because it allows us to provide insight on some of the implicit values which come from our multipliers lambda. So an example of this is the following. Recall that the standard utility maximization problem for this exercise is maximize a utility function which has inputs x and y subject to the budget constraint. And the Lagrangian for this exercise is u of x and y plus lambda times m minus pxx minus pyy. If we are interested in solving for the marginal utility from money, we simply take the partial derivative of our Lagrangian with respect to m and evaluate it at its optimum points. This is an implicit value that is not completely obvious, right, but comes from the multipliers itself. So this is another video that I made on envelope theorem. I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comments if this was a good video or not, and I'll try to go and address any issues that you guys go and have. Take care.